Hello everyone. We would be presenting our work that has been accepted in CVPR 2022. Despite its progress, fully supervised learning is practically limited to a small number of object classes, where labels are explicitly curated. This raises the question how to incorporate new knowledge. Say we have a 10-class photo classifier, and we want to extend it to three new classes, to make a 13-class classifier. A suitable option would be class incremental learning. Being the most realistic one amongst its other variants, we focus on few-shot class incremental learning. It dictates the model to learn, new classes with very few example samples, just like humans. There however exists a few issues. What data modality, should the support samples take? How could these samples, be obtained in practice? Now, we understand that. Humans also learn from a broad range of data modalities, that are not limited to just photo, and there are scenarios where photos are not necessarily always readily available, due to privacy and ethical constraints like, copyright laws. We therefore propose a solution as doodle-it-yourself model, where, the support samples are, user-drawn sketches of images of the new classes. So learning is no longer fixed to just photos, but flexibly cross-modal with other data forms just like humans. Secondly it works without asking the users to provide photos which might have practical constraints attached. Owing to its fine-grained nature, sketches are extensively used as a query in recent fine-grained image retrieval literature. We use a few sketches collectively as class exemplars of novel classes, for incremental learning. Looking at the challenges. Firstly, as sketches are visually quite different from photos, they represent an entirely different domain from that of photos. So, can we make the model work in a cross-modal scenario? Secondly, learning new classes tends to forget learned old base class knowledge, which needs to be preserved. Finally, how can we leverage information from old classes to learn new ones? For the first issue, we design a gradient consensus-based strategy, that updates the model towards mutual agreement, in the gradient space, between sketch and photo domain, thus achieving a domain invariant feature extractor. For the second, we model an additional knowledge distillation loss, to retain the acquired knowledge from old classes, while learning from novel classes. Lastly, we devise a graph attention network, to generate more discriminative decision boundaries, for the incremented classifier, via message passing between old and novel classes. Formally, we deal with classification, where given some base classes with sufficiently labeled samples, and some novel classes with just a few sketches, we aim to extend a model to perform well on both base and novel classes. Our framework follows a two-stage training. In the first stage, we train a feature extractor and a linear classifier for base classes using standard cross-entropy loss. Having sufficient data, we combine labeled photos and sketch images for it to generalize well on both modalities, curating a total cross-entropy loss as shown. However, the two domain being vastly different, gradients from both loss objectives are highly conflicting. Hence naively adding them would be suboptimal for training. We thus introduce a gradient consensus function, that aims to update the model in the direction where there is an agreement in the gradient space, between two domains, thus encouraging to learn a domain invariant representation. After training, weights of the feature extractor are frozen for the second training stage. Two major objectives here are. Learn novel classes knowledge from fewer sketch exemplars. And not to degrade the performance of base classes while learning the novel ones. To classify from novel classes, we need to generate additional weight vectors for them. We thus learn a weight generator GSI, through episodic pseudo-incremental learning, in two steps. Firstly, a sketch support set is used to produce weight vectors for novel classes, as well as to refine those of base classes. To do so, a graph attention network initiates message passing amongst the novel and base class vectors to obtain W new. Training data set being limited, we episodically construct, pseudo-incremental task, based only on the base classes to mimic the real testing scenario. For each episode we synthetically drop some base class weight vectors, and treat their classes as pseudo-novel classes, whose weights now need to be generated. In every episode, while support set, S, generates classifier weights, another query set, Q, involving real photos from both pseudo-base and novel classes, are fed through pre-trained backbone, followed by classifier with newly generated weight matrix W new, to compute loss for optimization. To obtain a training signal from supervised base class knowledge, we define a knowledge distillation loss along with classification loss, calculated over the query set, which acts as a consistency regularization. For evaluation we use the extended sketchy data set. As no prior work dealt with sketch-based incremental learning, we design a few strong baselines. We also naively adopt some existing incremental methods under our sketch-based FSCIL setup. We evaluate under three setups. Only on base classes to verify the potential of mitigating the catastrophic forgetting issue. Only on novel classes, to verify its capacity of learning them and its generalizability on cross-domain data. On both, to judge how base class knowledge affects novel class 1 and vice versa. Our method surpasses all existing methods and baselines, except B5 which is an upper bound. Please refer to the paper for more. As an ablative study we conduct a series of stripped down experiments of our design as shown. We also vary the number of shots and ways to see how number of classes and samples affect the overall performance. As evident from the TSNE plots showing classifier weights in a low dimension space. GAT refines weights efficiently to push the classifier weights away from the uncertain areas, resulting in better decision boundary. Compared to text-based approaches, fine-grained nature of sketches help to surpass text results widely, showing its efficacy as the class support and a possible substitute to photos. Thanks.